Today, we're uncovering some hidden treasures, diving into 15 lesser known vintage thrifty household tips that could save you a ton of money. Tip one, reuse aluminum foil. Aluminum foil is an extremely versatile material that can be cleaned and reused for a multitude of purposes. Our forebears would carefully wash used foil, allow it to dry completely, then fold it up for future use. This thrifty practice extended to various household tasks, including the wrapping and storing of food, scrubbing burnt pots and pans, polishing silverware, and even sharpening household scissors by cutting through multiple layers of foil. By reusing aluminum foil, they saved money and resources. Tip two, homemade stain remover. Stain removers can be expensive and often contain harsh chemicals. However, the solution to this problem can be found in your kitchen pantry. Our ancestors would create a natural, cost-effective, and eco-friendly stain remover by mixing equal parts of lemon juice and salt. This concoction was then generously applied to stained areas on clothing and left to sit before being washed normally. It's surprising how well this simple mixture works on a range of stains from red wine to rust. Tip three, crafting handmade gifts. Gifts don't always have to come from a store to be cherished. Our ancestors knew the value of time and effort, often choosing to make their gifts by hand. This tradition saved money, reduced waste, and added a personal touch that bought items can't rival. Whether it's a hand-knitted scarf, a jar of homemade preserves, or a delicately carved wooden toy, handmade gifts show both resourcefulness and thoughtfulness. Tip four, cook with root to stem. Our forebears rarely let anything go to waste, especially when it came to food. They would cook root to stem, incorporating all parts of their vegetables into dishes. Beet greens can be sauteed for a side dish, carrot tops can be made into a pesto, and broccoli stems can be chopped up and added to stir fries. This reduces waste and allows you to make the most of your purchases. Tip five, use newspaper for cleaning. When it came to cleaning windows and mirrors, people in the past discovered that newspapers could leave a streak-free shine. Not only was this a cost-effective method, but it also provided a way to reuse newspapers. You simply need to crumple up a sheet of newspaper, apply a vinegar water solution to the glass, and then wipe it clean using the newspaper. Tip six, make your own breadcrumbs. We'll get to that in a second. I have a favor to ask of you. If you like this video so far, please subscribe to the channel. Stale bread doesn't have to be thrown away. Our ancestors found a simple and cost-effective solution, homemade breadcrumbs. By drying out and grating old bread, they were able to produce their own breadcrumbs. This not only saved them money, but also reduced food waste. Tip seven, mend instead of buying new. In a society that increasingly opts to throw away and replace, the vintage practice of mending is a breath of fresh air. Clothes with tears, socks with holes, and sheets with frayed edges were not discarded but repaired. This practice extends the life of items, adds personal touch, and of course saves money. Tip eight, save seeds for planting. Gardens were an integral part of life for our ancestors. They would save seeds from their best produce to plant the following year. Not only did this provide a sustainable food source, but it also helped to ensure future harvests and save on grocery bills. Tip nine, natural pest control. To avoid the cost and chemicals of commercial pesticides, natural pest control methods were preferred. Planting marigolds among vegetables deterred harmful insects and encouraging birds to nest in your garden by providing bird houses can help control the bug population. Tip 10, barter goods and services. Bartering was a way of life in the past. Trading goods and services allowed individuals to obtain what they needed without spending money. It also fostered a sense of community and mutual aid. Tip 11, utilize the library. Public libraries are a treasure trove of free resources. In addition to books, many offer magazines, movies, music, and even free classes or workshops. Making full use of the library can provide education and entertainment at no cost. Tip 12, DIY beauty treatments. Instead of expensive store-bought beauty products, try making your own. 
simple and natural ingredients like honey, oatmeal, eggs, and avocado can be used to make effective treatments at home. These homemade products can be healthier for your skin and lighter on your wallet. Tip 13, homemade stock. Instead of throwing away bones and vegetable scraps, they can be boiled to make nutritious homemade stock. This stock can then be used as a base for soups, stews, and sauces. Making your own stock is an excellent way to reduce waste and save money. Tip 14, extend soap life. Soaps used to be a valuable commodity and were used sparingly to make them last. Small soap ends were collected and merged together or the soap was allowed to dry out between uses to prolong its life. Tip 15, reuse glass jars. From storing homemade preserves to serving as a makeshift base, Glass jars were multi-purpose items in vintage households. By reusing glass jars, people saved money on storage solutions and reduced their environmental impact. Remember, these tips aren't just about saving money. They're also about reducing waste, being self-sufficient and appreciating what you have. By implementing these vintage tips, you can lead a more sustainable and thrifty lifestyle.